New Jeans X Nike Collaborative Merchandise Hits the Spotlight. Back in December, New Jeans raised anticipation when they teased a campaign video using Ditto. As the soundtrack announcing their collaboration with the popular sports brand, Nike. After months of speculation and excitement, the day finally arrived as the New Jeans X Nike Collaborative Collection has hit store shelves, instantly claiming the spotlight. Korean netizens and fans gathered in an online community to share their thoughts. They commented, The logo is so cute, I like the designs. I think only elementary school students can pull off the look, it looks like their official merch. They look like concert goods. The design is so simple and cute. I think they could have done better with the design. I want their hat. I think the design came out okay. And the design doesn't look like Nike's design. Fans say Arise Zantong grew more mature. And manly in the short time since he debuted. Fans have turned their gaze towards Anton. Specifically highlighting his matured visual presence. Numerous netizens have been quick to observe and commend Anton's significant physical strides. In a relatively brief period since his debut with the group in September 2023. Korean netizens commented, he's so good looking, wow. He matured so much in just a few months, his physique is no joke. He looks so handsome with his hair down, did he get more buff? I think he has the best hair right now. He's much more manlier compared to a few months ago. During his debut, how did he mature so quickly, and he's so crazy good looking? Lee Jang Woo's changed visuals bring attention to his past dramas. On the latest episode of I Live Alone that aired on January 26, viewers were surprised by Lee Jang Wu's changed appearance in the episode. Lee Jang Wu was seen visiting Kim Dae Ho's house and showed up in a green padded jacket that he has been wearing since he was in his 20s. Lee Jang Wu particularly garnered attention for his visible weight gain. The fellow members of I Live Alone jokingly made comments about Lee Jang Wu's weight gain and joked. It seems someone is stretching the jacket from the side. There are no wrinkles on the jacket. He continued to receive much love after joining I Live Alone. Despite gaining weight, netizens and fans continue to show support for the actor and commented. He still has a handsome face now. His flower bow looks during his prime was unbeatable. He looks cute. And he's still charming. Now. SG Wannabe announced his special solo concert to mark 20th debut anniversary. In a heartfelt gesture to express their gratitude to their loyal fanbase, SG Wannabe is bringing back the highly acclaimed and beloved performance, Our Song, which previously received unparalleled praise and garnered rave reviews. Our Song is a meticulously crafted concert experience that SG Wannabe has been diligently preparing for. With the aim of commemorating their two decades in the music industry, the show made its debut after the easing of COVID-19 restrictions in January last year. In March of the same year, SG Wannabe's Our Song concert featuring their full lineup for the first time in seven years created a massive buzz. Tickets sold out rapidly upon release, leading to additional performances that were also quickly sold out, highlighting the immense popularity of the group. Jungkook's Golden Breaks records achieves 12 consecutive weeks on Billboard 200. According to the latest chart released by Billboard, an American music media outlet, on the January 30th KSD, Jungkook's solo album Golden ranked 58th on the main album chart Billboard 200. As a result, Golden stayed on the chart for 12 consecutive weeks, breaking its own record of being the longest charting album by a K-pop solo singer. On the Billboard 200, this album's title song, 
standing next to you ranked 85th on this week's main song chart Hot 100. Up to places from the previous week, and like the album. It stayed on the chart for 12 consecutive weeks, on this week's charts. BTS first full-length album Dark and Wild and second mini-album. School Love Affair are attracting attention, Dark and Wild, released in August 2014. First entered top album sales at number 27 nine years and five months after its release, and School Love Affair re-entered this chart at number 39. Stray Kids make history as first K-pop boy group to headline major European music festivals. iDays, an iconic festival that began in 1999, has previously featured renowned artists like Green Day, Liam Gallagher, Blink-182, and Justin Bieber. This year's lineup includes legendary band Metallica, Doja Cat, Lana Del Rey, Bring Me the Horizon, and Some for One. And it will now proudly feature Stray Kids as headliners, marking a significant moment for K-pop. The group's appearance at BSD Hyde Park in London is also a groundbreaking achievement, as they become the first K-pop boy group to claim the top spot. At one of the world's most prestigious music festivals, Stray Kids' global presence has been on the rise, as evidenced by their recent participation in the Yellow Coin Collection campaign. Le Gala de Pieces Johns held at the Eco Arena in Paris, France. The event, chaired by French First Lady Brigitte Macron, aims to raise funds for hospitalized children and adolescents. Song Junkies My Name is Low Key One set for March release on Netflix with mature rating. The movie My Name is Low Key One starring actor Song Junki is set to release in March with a mature rating. Netflix is gearing up to release My Name is Loki One in March. With promotions already underway, it appears that My Name is Loki One is slated for a March 1st. Release My Name is Loki One revolves around the story of Ki Won, a North Korean defector who arrives in Belgium, and Murray, a woman who has lost her purpose in life. This touching narrative is based on author Jo Hae Jin's full length novel I Met Loki One, Song Jung Ki who previously delivered a compelling performance in Hopeless last year, is poised for another remarkable transformation in My Name is Low Ki Won as he portrays Low Ki Won, a North Korean defector striving to gain recognition. As a refugee in Belgium, a foreign land where he arrived with nothing. Expectations are running high for this unique portrayal.